Are we recording? Yes. <laughs> I did not expect that. Oh, fancy seeing you here. Didn't seeing, notice we you. are hearing each other, not seeing. Oh no. Once again, we forget. Oh yeah, mm, I forgot too. <laughs> it's so how okay. are you today, Marta? I'm okay. Uh huh. How are you? I'm doing splendid here. Oh, wow. ah! <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was a warm sippy cup of coffee and I, I burned my throat. Oh, sippy cup. Mm-hmm. You only <laughs> sip from sippy cups. You only ah. sippy cup. Mm-hmm. So. Um, I have some updates from the last episode. Mm-hmm, that's perfect. That's like what we want to hear. Yes. First of all, about the commercial in Iceland, the mm-hmm. naked one. Mm-hmm. Um, it is being so shown on TV. We weren't true. sure last true. time. True, that's true. Um, and the uh, the the mink thing in Denmark that we talked about. Yeah. Um. So there are five mutations of COVID. And the first four are okay, but the fifth one is the bad one that uh, that antibiotics and stuff are not uh-huh, okay. uh, doing anything to. Yeah. And there are actually ten people that already have that fifth one. <gasps> um, and still we're not in lockdown. Great. No, Danish people. Yeah, I think they're not handling it the best way, like... They could just put the whole country in lockdown for two weeks or at least like ban traveling to the places where all the minks are. Mm -hmm. Um, But no, they're not doing anything. We don't even know which places they are in. So we could just as well be going to a town there or something without knowing. Mm -hmm. That's not good. That's just good to do in Iceland. Shame, Denmark. Shame. Oh, I just re- oh, we also have after. Do you remember we found the Reddit thing for the? Yeah, video. we found it straight after we recorded the last podcast. Yeah, I'm just trying to find it now. Now I can't seem. To- oh, here it is. Click. Click. I want to go on this website. And you said press. Ah, it's underlined the Reddit. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, oh, it's over eighteen. I don't have. If I press I yes. Can. Oh, what I could do you get want in. to know? I just want to see comments. Yeah. It's uh it's oh. on the subreddit videos. Mm. Um and it's just there. The top comment is it's a pun. In mm. Icelandic with a K. Okay, <laughs> of course. The Icelandic word for wristwatch, Ur, is one of the two words from to form disrobing or disrobe, i.e., the final, uh, the finale, the final text is essentially all you need to xx is disrobe. Mm, true. Xx being the things you can do with a smartwatch. Uh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and oh, everyone is like, "Wow, so comments. insightful! Thank you. I'm sold. Where do I buy it? Oops." I actually I accidentally downloaded that comment. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> I, I I took it back. Um no. someone commented, is this the promo for Thundergun 3? I heard they hang full dong in this one. What? what I, is I don't know. Thundergun. I don't know. Okay. Uh the next comment is Iceland has zero hang-ups on nudity. When we visited the public pool in Reykjavik, there was a hall monitor to make sure tourists spend long enough in the shower mm. scrubbing before going into the water. Tons yeah. of naked people walking around. NBD? I don't know what NBD is. Not much disturbance. No 
father, dad. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Oh, we don't know. Um, yeah, and people are... Uh, yeah, everyone's just like, was there, can confirm, no one gives a shit about nudity. Uh, true. Oh, and mm. someone, someone commented on that. So... Honest question. I haven't read the question, but maybe we can answer because they're probably oh, no. asking about nudity in Iceland. Oh no. Give some countries view given some countries views of nudity, if they were to visit Iceland and go to said areas for a relaxation, if someone inadvertently got aroused, how is that handled? Oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> is it okay given they're a foreigner and not exposed to that normally? Or simply if I visit and pop a boner, will I be ridiculed or looked down upon because I have one? Um, so, will he get aroused by seeing all the naked bodies? I mean, if you hide it well, I don't think anything will happen. But I think if anyone, like, like if a, 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 an employee at the swimming pool or something saw you aroused in the... I think you would in get there, offered. I think they would ask you to leave. <laughs> and, and I, don't, hmm, I don't know. That's that's a. I just think when you're in this scenario, I think, I think you can keep it down. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They don't think they can. So. I guess. Hmm. I honestly just... think they would be kicked out unless the. Uh, the guard would be super unused to it and wouldn't know what to do and was like, oh, okay, uh, I'll True. look the other way or something. But I think, like, if someone went to them and was like, hey, this guy is aroused, can you do something? Then they would <laughs> ask you to leave. Uh, um, we, but we and, have two uh, like, to know. I don't know, like, I don't think that, like, what? <laughs> yeah, Balister should definitely know because he used to be a like, Yeah. I'll ask Absolutely him when he gets also, home. He gets home in a little bit, so I'll ask mm. him for his insight. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I, I think like when you're in that situation, you're especially if you're new to this situation, you will be thinking about yourself too much to be thinking about other people there. True. And I know like guys can get a boner from being stressed and whatever, but <laughs> I I think it's I th I think it's easier to contain it when you're in the situation than you think mm -hmm. yeah I, I i can picture this like airport in the shower steam and yeah guy walks in a foreigner not from any country we know about or do we yeah. know about it we don't know and he pops in direction everybody's staring everything feels slowed down and then a tap on the shoulder is there hey there mister you are popping a big boner all here <laughs> Why do you have that one? And he's like, it's medical. It's medical condition. I can't control it. <laughs> and then he's like, okay. It's not so cool. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we should ask uh, well-endowed John what he thinks. Oh, yes. Well-endowed John. <laughs> we are coming for you, daddy. <clears throat> but yeah, Oops. I think, I think um, this is a, ver a very rare thing. But if you are like staring at people and visually being oh. aroused by them, oh. then I think something oh. will be done. But oh, if no. it's like a nervous boner, I think nothing yeah, will happen. Right. You'll probably and especially <laughs> like if there's a kid in there and you get a boner, you will definitely be kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never thought about this too, like this scenario in the pool. <laughs> oh my god, no, I don't want to go swimming anymore. This is just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ban it. Let's put cubicles everywhere. Yeah. Mm hmm. That was that. I'm I'm trying no. to find the next comment. There's just so many people commenting on that. Oh yeah. Um There's another here about her when her husband. Someone commented, see? I saw neither Hafthor Julius Björsson nor Björk Wimensdottir. So this video increased the number of Icelandic people I've seen by a significant percentage. <laughs> well, nice. Okay. okay. Mm. When my husband and I went to Iceland in 2016, my husband wanted to meet Hafthor so bad, so we printed out maps of all the strength, strength conditioning gyms just in the case 
uh, at our one of our road trip. When we arrived in Keblavik and ran into some friends of ours from Germany, as we were chatting to them, my husband stopped talking, stares behind me and says, You gotta be bleeping kidding me. <laughs> Towering over everyone was Thor walking in our di- direction. Nobody knew who he was, so we were the only ones who stopped, stopped him for a photo. Dude was wearing a jean shirt, like spring was already outside, and probably to show his sick tats. We chatted with him briefly before we had to get on his, to his, before he had to get to his flight. Aside from the fact we prepped all this gym mapping to find the guy, and we had only landed 30 minutes prior. This is the, my husband's is six foot tall, but looks much shorter than standing next to Hafthor. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was a just good story underneath it. <laughs> yes, beautiful. Mm-hmm. I've never met Hafthor. <gasps> what celebrities have you met? I haven't met him either, and honestly, what? I don't really want to. <laughs> what celebrities have you met? Icelandic celebrities? Of course, Icelandic celebrities. We were talking about Iceland. <laughs> of course, Pautloskar. Hello. Oh yeah, me too. Mm. He told me I'm I was fabulous, so I think I have won at life. <laughs> uh, and then he realized he says it to everyone. You look fabulous. And you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, I was being like a a ring bearer at a wedding, so. Okay. Okay. You know. Okay. Mm. And I was fabulous. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, who else have I met? <laughs> mm-hmm. I met like. A bunch of so random many. people. Uh, I've met Oliver Tari, of yeah, course. Me too. We were oh. we were in that movie, of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was the runner, and you were the yes. actress. Ragnar Runner, met. you got me a really ugly swimsuit. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Are you in the movie? Huh? Are you in the movie in the swimsuits? Yeah. Oh, wow, I was I trying remember. so hard to hide my body because you got me such a gross swimsuit. Ugh. It was not my fault because I just went to the swimming pool and was like, can I get like, I'm working on a movie set. Can I get like lost and found swimsuits? We need them. ASAP, oh my God. please. <gasps> I was told you bought them at Scaffo. Lies. <laughs> we had to lie. I remember that. They were like, okay, we just tell because we don't have the budget for this. We just tell them we bought it all. And I was yeah. like, okay. Oh, I feel nasty. Mm. I also met Latte. Uh-huh. Yeah. He sat in. in I also met Latte. I have a picture with Latte. I can send it to you, bitch. And also, I met Fusi. Fusi? <laughs> wow. Fusi. Hmm? The big guy who is like in Rudar and. Oh, I thought you meant Fusi from our hometown. <laughs> oh, no, no. I meet him daily. I'm like, yo. And he's like, yo. I've, of course, met. Like, Ulver, Ulver, and of course, Wolf, Wolf. Hello, Wolf, Wolf. My ma'am. My boy, boy. There's so many like celebrities that I met when I was a teenager, and I just don't remember. <laughs> yeah, all I remember is so many celebrities sat in my parents' car. Oh my! <laughs> we could have sold for a fortune. Oh, I met. I remember. I met Hafi Hafa. I was very starstruck when I met him. Huffy, huffy Actually, I didn't know him name. at all, but I was just starstruck because I knew what? he was a celebrity. What? Huffy Huff? <laughs> yeah. He Blue. was staying at the guest house. Is he, He's a singer, music DJ? Or? Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, come to think about it, I don't know either. I'm like, like hmm. I know, like he was a singer back then at least, but right now I think he's just like a... Influencer, maybe. Entertainment persona. Oh. Hmm. He did. And I think he's also a stylist. Oh. Because oh he my. did teach a little bit at the makeup school I went to. Okay. Um, but I, oh. uh, the year after I was there. But I think he was teaching, like, styling. <laughs> I love the pic. You are so, like... You were awkward on the picture. Uh, you were like... <laughs> I'm very awkward at that picture. <laughs> oh, Xiao. Oh, did Xiao see her? Xiao oh, oh, oh. <laughs> heard that Baldur came home. <gasps> oh, oh, brought you life by... T- 
Tesco. Get yes. your groceries in the good store. I'm gonna we are now open going live to Baltic. Her. You have to entertain the people. I'm entertaining this my mother. This is mother. a, a awesome messy stormcast. So yes, celebrities. Have you met any? Any from your country? I'm not meaning the big celebrities. Like who needs to meet the big ones? Not like I have ever dreamed about it. <laughs> Saying like, hi Brad Pitt, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And oh my god, I loved you in those movies. And, and, and oh my god, the, oh, it's you, Courtney Cox. Oh, you you played in Scream. And I was like, wow, you were amazing. Wow, you're so funny. <laughs> 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 I hope, did you hear what I was saying? No. Oh, thank god. Oof. Okay, but did you I get the will scoop? hear it. Did you get got the pool scoop? Pool scoop? No, he wasn't there. He went to get the laundry, I think. Oh, scoff. Scoff. But yeah. So Ashton? I will. I will ask him to come and tell us himself. Tr tr ooh, brought you live by Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> A live segment. So, so from we the continue. Baltic. We can just continue about Icelandic Icelandic celebrities. Yes. Um, we have ooh, I, I actually have a... Mm -hmm. so you have a I wouldn't really consider them celebrities because I don't think if I met them now outside mm -hmm. I would recognize them really. I'm super Maybe. Hurt. Maybe I would I recognize them. Stop it. Um, but I don't think everyone in Iceland recognizes them. But <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> once I, I was going to Norway. Ooh. And <gasps> the night before... Or the evening before my flight, I went to the movies with my friend. Oh, nice. And we went to see an Icelandic movie called Hjartastein. Heartstone. Or Heartstone. Like the game. And I don't know, I don't think you have seen it. No. But it's a, it's a very, very sad movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I cried so hard. Oh. Whew, it was yeah. it was hard like the time w that I needed to cry the most during the movie was like a super silent part in the movie so there was like it w there was complete silence as I was just trying to hold the cries in I was like <laughs> 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 and then like uh, like the scene after that was super loud so uh, during that I was just like <laughs> of course <laughs> just let it out um, and then I went to the guest house where we were staying before the flight mm -hmm. and I was just so sad. I was so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I was really heartbroken because of this movie. I was so sad. Oh my. <laughs> and I could barely fall asleep. I was just like lying there thinking about this super sad movie. Um, oh. And then at like three or four in the morning, I woke up super suddenly and just started crying because I was so sad. <laughs> what? We need to watch this And movie. I, I also just, I felt so much anxiety because of this movie. Like my heart was just aching. Oh my. Um, but okay, I, 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 I think like in two hours I managed to fall asleep again. Mm -hmm. But then we went to the... To the... Flintport. Airport, yes, mm -hmm. and we were just gonna go straight to our gate because we didn't have anything to do in the airport. Whoa, you always have something to do there. Mm. Yeah, but we were being lazy. Um, it was with my mom. Mm. <laughs> mom. Um, but then on the way there, my mom was like, "Oh wait, I want to check out this sixty-six degree north store." Of course. So we went there, and she was looking at some sweater or something. I don't remember. Um, and I was just being sad. <laughs> I was just staring into the like, air with my empty eyes. Mm -hmm. And then my mom wanted to talk to some employee. So I looked towards the employee. And who is the employee talking to but the two main characters of Hearthstone? Did you cry even more when you saw this? Oof, it was really hard to hold in the cries when I saw them. And I was like... <laughs> But they were alive, so that was a good part, if it died in Hearthstone. Yeah, but it was hard to uh, think about them as not the characters, even though like I know they're not the characters, oh no, but I you were like I was just like, oh no, oh no. Oh no, you're a crazy stan. No, but uh, yeah, I just looked at them and I was like, oh my god. 
and I was so sad and and then we walked out of the store and I was like mom those were the guys from the movie um but then I was okay but on the flight I was like holding back the tears <laughs> and I cried for like three days <laughs> this movie made me really sad but it was a really good movie and I really want I really want to see this movie again because it was such a good movie but at the same time I don't want to go through this again. <laughs> it would be amazing then to realize it wasn't as good as I thought before. It's not even <laughs> sad. What was wrong with Maybe you? Maybe I shouldn't watch it. <laughs> yeah, you might get disappointed how yeah. emotional you are now. You're like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but hmm. yeah, I've never cried as much over a movie as over that movie. I, I oh. was heartbroken like I said. Mm. Have you ever cried over a movie? Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, I hold back my tears in Marley and Me when I went to the Aww. movie theater. Everybody was crying and I was like, oh, I can't. And was like with my hand like fanning my eyes like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. I, I, I actually do have a crying story about Marley and Me too. <laughs> See? It's a traumatic the first story. Time, I thought it was a fun movie. The first time I watched it, I was like, Jesus, this is an annoying movie. I did not enjoy it, but in the end I cried. And I remember like it was in the old, um, we used to have like the sofa and TV upstairs in my house. True. In one of the rooms. Yeah. Um, and I remember like after I watched it, I watched it in there. I just sat on the table that was there and cried for like half an hour. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that was actually the first time that I cried like still after the movie because usually I just cried during the movie but this was the first time that I cried after the movie and I was just sitting there for half an hour crying um, and then like I don't know maybe a year or something later I I um, was <laughs> going on a trip I don't remember where I think it might have been Norway again <laughs> sponsored and by Norway yeah bad luck um, and I was just like what movie should I watch? And I chose Marley and Me. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea to watch Marley and Me on a plane. <laughs> but I did. Oh, wow. um, oh I, I think I was flying back to Iceland from mm -hmm. maybe Norway. Who knows? Yeah. Um, okay. And right at the super sad scene... <laughs> <laughs> I was like holding back the tears regretting my decision to watch this when an announcement comes on the plane radio I don't know on the plane yeah. thing <laughs> if you look on your left hand side you can see Eyjafjallajökull <laughs> and you're like ah. I was on the left hand side so everyone ran to me <laughs> <laughs> looking out my window and I was just like <sighs> Don't cry now. Everyone is here. <laughs> there were so <laughs> many people around me and I was just really trying not to cry. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, I I I've cried also on a plane. <laughs> Damn. What happened? Oh, uh, I was watching a horror movie. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It was called like it it's from you have seen Insidious. Uh, I don't think I saw it. Oh, it's like a spin-off of that with one of the elderly women in the movie. And I don't know, there were like five key movies or something. And it was called like something, The Last Key. I'm trying to find what it was called. Last <laughs> Key. Ins yeah, it was, oh, it was Insidious, yeah. I think it was Insidious Last Key or one of them. Yeah. It was just, I don't know, it was a super boring movie. Just in the end, oh, I oh, oh, played trailer. And, and I don't know, something hit me and I was like, in the end, like, just like... Oh my god, I'm starting to cry now. I was like, thank Aww. god everybody's asleep. I don't know why it's so sad all of a sudden, but... Ah, uh, must be my hormones. <laughs> <laughs> and I also did, did it when I watched Scotch Story. That's a super sad movie, you should not watch it on the plane. Oh my god, I love that you are just crying over horror movies. <laughs> yeah, Ghost Story is not a horror movie. It's like a man who dies and you're just following him as a ghost. Oh no. Through time. And like seeing his love on leave and he's just stuck to the house because he's bound to that place. Oh. And it's like that brother does of sound Ben sad. Affleck. Ben Affleck? It's, yeah, brother of Ben Affleck, what is it called? Ben Affleck or Boom Affleck or something. <laughs> I very much hope for his sake 
that his name is not Boom Affleck. <laughs> um, let me uh, see. His uh, brother is Casey Affleck. Casey Affleck, yeah. And he's just in the movie for like five minutes, but after that he dies, and he's just a ghost with a, like a blanket on his hat. He's just he's acting with his blanket, just standing, doing nothing, kind of just looking and moving oh. around. Okay. <laughs> but it's super sad. I don't know why. Probably just death in him. It's him and then <laughs> <laughs> you have to watch this movie. It's it's kind of it's it's filmed in different ways, like different perspective. It's like in a square format. Like the movie is not in full. S- like full screen blah, does he blah. does he always have the like yeah you never after he dies he's just always like this <laughs> like a ghost with a blanket oh my god <laughs> that's actually a pretty funny concept mm-hmm. yeah and he was himself acting so well done <laughs> yeah he fully emerged <laughs> <laughs> so we have talked about crying in movies i think we should maybe go to our Correspondent called Snipefield now maybe. Yeah, I was just gonna ask if she mm-hmm. had a segment. Yeah, of course she has it now every week. So Snipefield, just take it away, girl. Snipefield corner, Snipefield corner, Snipefield corner with me. <laughs> Hello there, guys. This is me, Snipefield. How are you guys doing this lovely day, night, morning, or oh, I don't know, just. Any time of the day, <laughs> or maybe Christmas. Oh, if it will be Christmas for you, I will be so surprised. <laughs> Have you light up your candles? I light up five candles for me, my inner body, my inner peace, my inner love, my inner sanctuary. <laughs> and I'm drinking, of course, a little bit of tea, matcha tea from Japan. I know I'm international. Some say I'm like a lady international. <laughs> Well, yeah, I was was thinking about like, like, you know, things have been going interesting in the world, situations, and, you know, I'd be like, Snifrider, what is going on in the world? And I'd be like, Gwith, I don't know, I just don't know, but all I know is to be yourself and be relaxing, and I'm gonna be relaxing today with you in our spa session, so let's listen to those. A little bit of sound of waves going around the world and I'm gonna be with you here at one place thinking about things the thing you might love most your little inner being called life <laughs> I'm being so deep now I'm being deeper than I used to be before but I wasn't gonna be this deep this segment I was gonna talk about love lost and some things and I was like it's not even no everybody talks about that you talk about like talk about sun stuff be sun today and I was gonna be sun and calm and uh, you know there's so many things in there in, in in life that happens to you like happiness grief you know and all you have to do just is like be you and be like I am calm with the world I be you I be you you be me <laughs> But I wanted to tell you also a little story I had, like, it happened to me two days ago. Here in Iceland we have to wear a mask when you go to the store, and I put a mask on myself, and I was like, I put my, my glimmer mask, and I was so shiny and pretty, and I did my eyes extra beautiful, so people could see my eyes, because they don't see my mouth. <laughs> and I was like, went into the store, and I was like, shopping stuff like fruits and vegetables and candy. <laughs> Girls gotta treat herself. <laughs> I like candy, I'm a sweet tooth, but I, yeah, I was there, and, and then, then I, then I heard something, like in the back. Snifrider, Snifrider, is this you? In English, Snifrider, Snifrider, is this you? And I was like, yes, this is me, this is Snifrider, who are you, who are you? I only see your eyes, I don't know you, I, I usually know people with their mouth. I'm a mouth person, I remember mouth. <laughs> I remember the taste also. <laughs> and and that person was like, <laughs> I just wanted to say hi. And I was like, oh, why did you want to say hi to me? And 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 the person was like, I I I listened to your podcast. I I heard your advice. I I loved your advice. And I was like, my advice? Did you listen? Oh my god. Oh my god. 
how many people have listened to this? I don't know. But that person was like, keep it up. And I was like, oh, I love you too. You are my favorite person in the world today. You made my day so happy and I'm smiling behind my mask. I'm smiling with my big mouth and I'm like, ha 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 ha. I'm laughing also. And, and I gave him, of course, a autograph. I was like writing my name. I was like, how do I write my name pretty? I was like, Snifridur. <laughs> and then I gave him and, and, and this person wanted also a selfie and I was like, Okay, selfie with me. <laughs> we have to wear masks and two meters. So I will be two meters behind you and be like waving. Hello, hello. And they took the picture and I was like waving in the background. Hello, hello. And then I went away. But if you see me in the store, you can of course always wave to me and say like, Hi, Snipe Reader. I listen to your podcast. Say that too. And I will be like, oh, good. You listen to me. Ah. Oh. But that was all for today. I know, I'm still working on what I'm gonna say and do. I'm just... I'm all new to this, you know, friends. You know. But what more can I say? What more can I say? Just, yeah. Tomorrow is another good day. And the morning after that will be another good day. Good days will come to those who wait. Stay safe, people. And I can't wait to meet you all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, I miss you already. Next week, girl. Sny free the corner. Sny free the corner. Sny free the corner with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sny free. I love that we fake laugh after the segment is done. <laughs> Sny Frieder yeah. can't know. Yeah. Oh, oh, she doesn't listen. She just listens to her segment. Yeah, that's true. She has no interest in us. Yeah. Maybe she's talking about death and we were like, oh. <laughs> Snifrier, if you do listen to us, uh, tell me that you like Cinnabons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. We have what's two movies. They're on Netflix. Not Spawn. The Princess Switch. Oh my god, I watched it. It's a nice hang. <laughs> There's a sequel coming out. Princess hmm? Switch. The Princess, the Princess Switch. Switched again, number two. Oh, <laughs> we should watch it. I watched the trailer. I've seen trailers of both, and they're both terrible trail movies. Yes. So I expect this one also. It's very entertaining. I've, like I've only seen the first British. one. She's super British. And there's a twist in this one. I, I'm not sure if I want to tell you that. No, don't tell me. If we you, will if watch you, it with uh, Patricia. Yeah, because... <laughs> Because if you see the poster, don't see the poster, dude, because there's a twist. <laughs> okay, I will try my best to not see. Um, then we should watch like it soon, though, because otherwise Netflix will probably show it to me. True, I then, then I have to watch the other one. Oh, no. <laughs> no, we will just watch the first one together as well. Okay, okay, thank It's God. been so long since I saw it, so mm -hmm. <gasps> need oh, yeah. to see it again. I forgot the main news I have. <gasps> Mom Air, hello. The new Icelandic airline company called Mom Air. Mom Air. Mom Air. Is it real? Is it like some performance art? Because it's an artist who made this company. We don't know. Just go to momair.com. <laughs> it's Mom a new Air. Icelandic is? low budget carrier that they have women in the front line. They want gender equality and everything like that. And it's called Mom Air because Mom knows best. <laughs> okay, I have some questions mm -hmm. <laughs> to the people of Mom Air. Like, is this is this true? <laughs> That's what everybody. Nobody is like everybody's like. You get free. You get first seats in every flight is free. So if you find yeah, that it says flight, then two free flights in every uh, free seats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the plane. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> and you can and win a. Uh, 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 free flights for a whole year? Yep. It's ridiculous. And he's been in interviews and I decided to listen to one. And it's so weird. He talks like he doesn't know anything at all. Who made he's it? Like, Is it Binny Love that made it? Uh, no, he's called Ote. Uh, Otter oh. Eistin Fredriksson. It's called oh. Ote's Art. I just guessed uh, Binny because there was a picture of him there. Um, oh. well, maybe he's. I think he it. was just in some advertisement or something. Yeah, it just popped up all of a sudden, like the website, and I was like, what? 
and he was yeah. like in an interview and he was like yeah and because of the current situation in the world we will have those who have the you used to have like the covid and and has now the immune thing they will just their, their flight attendants will be divided by the people who are not gotten sick and the others who are gonna sick and then they will be with the people who are sick and we offered like sick flights and i was like oh, what <laughs> what <laughs> But what? it's super low. Like the price is like I think just nine thousand nine hundred. Like one, how much in U.S. dollars? Like Seven, there's a picture dollars? that supposedly is from inside the plane, and it looks like super nice. But True. I don't know if it will be nice. Yeah, um, b- because I think it's because now they got like a sponsor segment from the beer company Instuck. So I think that they are in this also. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like we are gonna sell that on our fl- on our plane plane. I meant. It's super. <laughs> Their hashtag is hashtag mama mama mama. Mhm. Mama um, means mom. Another question I have to them: mm-hmm. Can Wow Air sue them? No, I don't think so. Because they bought like that's what I've heard. They bought like Wow Air. That what it used to be like. Throttleboard. I don't know what to call it in English. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. The remains of the company, and they just switched the sign just to "mom" instead of "wow." Just flipped yeah, it <laughs> because it's like almost the exact same. Yeah, they just did it so like you know the brand kinda. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not interesting. Sure like genius. I hope it's true. Then you can come visit me. It's like yeah. super cheap flight because you technically you buy the flight ticket, your seat, and then you buy everything extra, so you can like personalize your trip. Like, oh, yeah. do I need a bag? Yes, I do. They and say like here that they Canada. are a super low cost air. Mm-hmm. But they uh, cannot start now. <sighs> no. Sense. But I want it to be true. Then I can yeah. travel again. Then I'm free. They say that the places they will be starting to go to now is that they will go to London, Paris, Berlin. Oh my god, they fucked this up. <laughs> what? They should have done London, Paris, Rome. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But they did London, Paris, Berlin, Rome. Maybe they couldn't do it because of Pulovskor, and he'll be like, "I sue you, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> How can you sue someone for writing? When do you um, stop flying? I'm gonna try to find the flight. Because I anyways, it's anything. London, Paris, Berlin, Rome, mm-hmm. Copenhagen, Oslo, Stockholm, New York, Washington, and Boston, Toronto, Dublin, and Glasgow. I know. I have to go to Toronto. I have to go. We have to go to the Icelandic place in Canada. Can I come too? Yeah, we have to go to the, like the Icelandic place in Canada. Yeah, my friend lives very close to there, so we can go visit her. So when do they start flying? And you've met her, Mi- uh, well, you haven't met her, but you've talked to her, Mindy. Mm-hmm. Mindy Kaling, I know that's famous actress. <laughs> Okay, and here is about the COVID-19. Mom will uh, break a page in Icelandic flight history <laughs> by offering COVID and non-COVID flights. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are very shocked. So, yeah, pe- people that are in quarantine are infected... Mm-hmm. I don't know how to translate that. I don't know either. Uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> something about infections. Or oh. have um, a vaccine. Or uh, I think like the natural vaccine after being infected or something. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. They can all travel together and those <laughs> planes are marked specially. Yeah, that doesn't make... St- uh. um, yeah, and the people that work on that are only people that are immune to mm-hmm. COVID. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they also have a new thing. When you don't buy the tickets, you book the tickets. You don't buy, buy, and, uh, buy, buy them until, like, right before the flight. Because, oh, that's So you can cool. cancel. And you also, he said, like, yeah, you can also drop at the airport. Like, we'll just say, like, oh... Their seat's empty now. You can just go to the airport if you need to go immediately. Just buy them for the same price. You don't need to pay it higher. Yeah. Just And they have a news press conference after five days. They were supposed to have it yesterday, but it postponed it till five days now. And 21 hour and 46 minutes and 50 seconds counting. They have a countdown clock now. I tried to search something, but you can't. Damn. So Book a flight. We can't. 
It's like the we are down for schedule maintenance. I've never been able to book. That's why I don't believe this. <laughs> it's just so. It's just it must be like troll of the century. <laughs> but we nobody knows. But where is Balter? We are waiting for him. I'm looking for a flight. Oh, I thought you said I'm looking for him. Baldur, where are you? Oh, okay, yeah. We are down for scheduled maintenance. Yeah, and then if you scroll down, then you see, like, countdown clock and everything. Yeah. But this is a mystery. <gasps> okay, one second. <gasps> okay, I continue. Yeah. I so, so, guys, would you I fly with Mama? I got Baldur for the swimming pool ridiculous. segment. Oh, yes. Go, luck. Hmm, so Marta runs just away now, and I'm just sitting here all alone in the hotel room, getting quite a crazy, lost in my mind, because they are almost here. The people who only come once a year, Mr. Christmas and Mrs. New Year. Mm hmm, that's my song, figures. Mm hmm, oh, he's coming in. Oh no, he's angry. Perfect. Hello. Oh, he's, hello. Hello. Yeah. Oh so, my. Um, Brought you live. Uh, no, not all sent. Baltur, mm -hmm. we have a question for you that we saw on Reddit. Yes. And we weren't. We wanted you to answer because you Are the would know the most about this out of all of us. Okay. So in this segment, they were talking about swimming pools in Iceland. <laughs> yes, I do have a fair bit of experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they were talking about showering naked in the men's scene. locker room. Yeah. Yeah. And they were talking it, it was a foreigner asking. And they asked like what hap because foreigners are not used to the same amount of duty as Icelandic people like they're not used to it being so normal. Mm. And they were asking what would happen if a person was in there and accidentally <laughs> popped a boner aroused because they're not used to this. Would it be okay because they're foreign or what would happen? Yeah, what's the situation? How do you do? <laughs> what do you do? I think if that happens, if, you, if you're, let's say, a man uh, mm -hmm. that's attracted to other men. Uh, I highly doubt that you'll be aroused in the swimming pool session. Okay. Uh, that is such. I almost feel like I'm being homophobic when I'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> but but so everybody can get aroused happen. just because stress you or something. Would, you would get a get aroused, and I chose a man because men get boners. Uh -huh. um, yeah, this was a man asking, and he did like specify like, what if I got a boner, or something. Then you have a boner. Okay, don't do anything about it. Um, well, if you start masturbating, <laughs> then yes, something will be done. But if you just have a boner, just like randomly pop a boner in the shower, I guess you would just hurry up and put your like swimming trunks on. Okay, but what if they were like watching people and had a boner then i would do something about it then you're being a pervert <laughs> like then you'd be <laughs> okay because my guess was that they would usually be kicked out if they like because normally people would hide it but if they weren't good enough at hiding it my guess was <laughs> that they would be kicked out um mainly because you know there are children there and stuff so you don't know what they're being aroused at <laughs> Like if I saw a guy like getting dressed or uh, like actually showering, like, like, you know, putting soap under his armpits or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that he has a boner. I'm not going to comment on it. But if there's a guy just standing there heavily <laughs> breathing with a <laughs> raging heart on, I'd comment on it. Okay. Would you be like, sorry, sir, are you OK? You're just breathing so deeply. Yeah, yeah, I'm just nervous. Would you judo chop his penis? <laughs> no, I'd, uh, that would be unsanitary. I would cut, cut yeah. out the kick. Mm. 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 
So what is the weirdest thing that's happened to you in the, while you're working in the locker rooms? Like, you don't have to be super specific. <laughs> uh, it's the weirdest that's happened to me. I've had to argue with a Canadian uh, guy around my age that was wearing like a lifeguard shirt that he actually <laughs> needed to shower before he uh, mm -hmm. went into the <laughs> swimming pool. And he's like, I don't have to do that in Canada. I'm like, yeah, well, you're not in Canada. Uh, skid marks on the benches from nasty people. Um, like it's like it's not a very like there there was like a recurring event where you'd find alcohol bottles. Mm, yeah. Stashed away, and it's not a very in, like interesting place to be. So it's just like, please don't walk in here wet. Mm. Please dry off over in the wet area. Or uh, reminding people to bring their towels. <laughs> <laughs> reminding people to take a shower. It's not a, in, it's not a very interesting area. So you never had to hold the sign and be like, you have to wash here, here, and here. I've had to uh, refer to the sign to people who... Uh, absolutely refused to wash oh yeah dirty <laughs> people and uh, it's not like it i would say it's like 50 50 icelandic people and tourists oh that's a twist yeah maybe yeah, Iceland is getting more were walking uh, walking working you would often talk about like angry middle day middle-aged icelandic men being angry about stupid stuff yeah they were always angry about <laughs> everything <laughs> Yeah, we are probably just getting more introverted now since COVID and we are not able to go swimming and now we're all shy and be like, oh, we don't want to <laughs> scrub our bodies there. Oh, oh no. <laughs> now they would be fully like naked and be angry. Oh, okay. That's even more funny. Uh, and and, then and, was, uh, and a rage boner. <laughs> but actually it would be more like uh, younger gym jocks uh, oh. that actually refuse to shower naked and would be wearing like two layers of swimming pants why are they shy they are like super fit and like psh, psh. yeah but maybe they are super fit because they're so self-conscious that yeah. they mm, true. maybe yeah mm, that makes Never sense. this is a good point to end on <laughs> something to think podcast. about guys yes because yeah, we're already past coming. the 40 minutes mark it's nice for your segment hasn't even put in yet so it will be 50 minutes yikes yikes so thank yikes. you guys for listening I, I would rate us we were very good today we had like a good flow even though <laughs> we, even we planned everything yeah and yeah we mentioned Patricia naturally and yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, we worked her into the conversation super smoothly. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, that is and you, her, our like goal <laughs> every week. <laughs> True. Oh, we have to like try to like put a sneak list on either either you can't realize I put her in or or I don't realize when you say her name. Yeah. that would be even more funny. <laughs> and in the end, like, how many times did you think I said Patricia? <laughs> Ooh, it's the Patricia game. <laughs> yeah. And now everybody's like coming and we're like, oh, five times, six times. And we're like, yeah. <laughs> They'll start arguing and they're like, no, it was only five times. No, you probably <laughs> missed it, but they said it there as well. <laughs> yeah. They said it both in Atlantic. <laughs> Patricia. Patricia. Pataya. Pataya. <laughs> yeah, it, it must count in. Yes. Every oh, yeah. type of name. Yeah. Oh. Yes. I'm just saying goodbye. <laughs> yes. That was a great way we ended it strongly. <laughs> <laughs> and awkwardly, we have to have a video next time. We have to try to remember. Yes. To zoom it up. So yes. we can see, and then we see our mouth moving. <laughs> yes. So then I can see everything you do. Oh no. I'm always in the shower on a podcast. Bust that. Well, I did just shower before this podcast, so. Oh, you are wet. <laughs> And that and you can think about, guys. <laughs> and I had a new towel. Um, and I had didn't wash it beforehand. But I, mm. I thought I had a different, like, clean towel. But I didn't. So I had to use this one even if I hadn't cleaned it. So I, now I have, like, green uh, particles all over. 
Because it's a green towel. I thought it was like hurting because it's so rough. No, no, no. It was very soft. It was just, you know, you need to wash it to get all the loose stuff out of it. Mm. But instead, the loose stuff is stuck on me. Yay. You're welcome. (laughs) So, yeah. Now we say bless, bless. (laughs) Bless, bless. Bye. 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 Bye.